Hey everybody, hey bookers, welcome back to another bookish video which I haven't filmed in a very long time but if you follow me on Instagram you will see some bookish content that I've recently put up from the Franchuk Festival but I haven't had time to even reach out. Like, anyway, hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome bookers, welcome back to another video. It is me, it is Gatleo Malela. Thank you so much for choosing me as always each and every single day. I do appreciate the time that you spent on the channel and like the video if you do, subscribe, join the JK family. If you feel like extra bonus content that you'd like to see, head on over to my channel membership space 40 bucks a month and it's a good time. There's extra videos, lots of extra videos, part twos of vlogs that I film and I feel like they're too long, that kind of thing. Just a lot of uh, personal chats that I have in there while I am chilling on my bed, having a good time with you guys. Anyway, thank you so much for being here. Today, I am going to be sharing with you some of the books that I want to read. I've started reading two of them. I've started reading two of them, but I'm reading quite slowly, but I want to share with you some of the books that I want to read in the next two months. Wish me luck because I need all of it, okay? So we're gonna get into it. I'm not gonna waste any time. I will read some of the synopses. I will share some of the synopses and I will tell you what I think of the books. Definitely keep on to Instagram if you want to see my recommendations of books that I've read or what I think of them or book reviews, that kind of thing. You can also follow me on Goodreads. I am on Goodreads and I do put a lot of bookish reviews on there as well. So let's get started with the first book. Of course, it's going to be by Candace Carty Williams. Candice Carty Williams. And this is People Person. I recently started reading this one. Not too far in. I'm literally about 30 pages in and I'm really enjoying it. I started reading it when I went to Franchuk. Didn't pick it up after then, but I really like where it's going. It's starting off with a bang, okay? In this book, we are following Dimple, Nikisha, Danny, Lizzie, and Prince. And they are all half-siblings to their father, Cyril Pennington. And basically, it's a mess. <laughs> Essentially, how the book starts, it's a mess. They're half-siblings. They've got different mothers. So he's got what five kids from four different women and that's insane so the book opens up with cyril deciding you know what i've been a really dead beady dead beady kind of dad and i want to do the right thing and i want to put my kids together and i want them to spend some time together i want to do right i want to do better by my kids but clearly what i have discovered is that something happens where Dimple ends up calling on Nikisha, who I believe is the eldest sibling, because something has happened. And I think it's something bad, but I'm not quite sure what it is. So it's a big event that happens that forces the kids together and forces them to work through whatever it is together. Am I excited? Yes, because they're barely close. Okay, two of them share one mom, but they're barely close. And I really want to see how it's going to unfold. So far, it's really, really good. 30 pages in and I was cackling. I remember at some point on the plane, I was laughing, thinking, Cyril, you a mess, baby. You are a mess, sir. So I'm looking forward to it. Things get complicated really fast after a catastrophic event happens and it forces the kids to come together. So I'm really excited to get through that one. Thank you, Candice Carty Williams. And of course she signed my book from the festival. <laughs> Another one that I am currently reading and I'm very far into this one. I think I'm about 70 odd percent in cause I'm listening to it on audio, but I haven't actually physically picked up the book, but it is so good. Oh, as a literary fiction lover, it is so good. This is Cleopatra and Frankenstein. This is by Coco Millers. And the reason why I picked it up and decided to listen to it is because Jonathan Ball Publishers, you know my friends over there by JBP, <laughs> they sent me the latest book by Coco Millers and it's called Sisters or Blue Sisters, something like that. 
and the cover is just as insane as this cover. It's such a beautiful cover. It's a pity it's all the way over there and it's too far to get, yeah, it's too far to get. But anyway, in this one, we follow Cleopatra and Frankenstein. Frank, basically. Cleo and Frank. And they meet on the 31st on New Year's Eve and they meet while they're out and about and they get to talking. Now, they get to talking. The son is doing crazy things. They get to talking and Frank realizes that Cleo is from the UK and her visa is going to be expiring very, very soon. So essentially what happens is they meet on this evening, they go to a party together, they meet a bunch of people, but then Frank and Cleo decide to get married so that they can keep Cleo in the country. But they actually do genuinely love each other, but it's a mess. This book is literally all over the place. There's a lot of toxic behaviors. There's trauma that the characters experience. If you are somebody who doesn't like to also read about alcohol abuse, like somebody who drinks a lot, I don't know if this book will be for you. If you don't like that, do not read this book because there's a, there, there's a lot of triggering subjects on childhood trauma, on grief and loss. And we meet all these characters. I think one of the things that I don't like about this book is it's a ton of characters that I just feel like, awa, awa, <laughs> another one and another one. And then I read the next chapter and it's another one. And I'm just like, ah, 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 ah. Yo, uh -uh. But it's great. Outside of that, it shows you the dynamic between the relationship between Cleo and Frank, but also the relationship that they have with the other characters that are in the book and things that happen and how, you know, things change, you know, people love each other and then things change and then stuff happens. But it's really good. So far, it's really good. And I think I like the way that it is written. So I cannot wait to finish it and let you know. But currently, it's looking like it's going to be a three and a half. It's looking like it's going to be a three and a half. Yeah. Um, and then we've got My Lovely Wife. Of course, we are in the winter months and I love to read thrillers as well in the winter months or horrors. And we've got My Lovely Wife here by Samantha Downing. Again, another very, very, very beautiful cover. Such a stunning cover. And this one, it's a story about a married couple who has some serious dark secrets okay you think that you have read stories like this before but you would be wrong so i don't know i really don't like to go into thrillers knowing too much i like to go into thrillers pretty much blind like i really need just overview synopsis and i'm good to go okay so i'm really looking forward to uh reading this one it just says how well do you really know the one you love the most so somebody done did something. Somebody did something and I want to know all about it. Thank you. But one I'm very excited to read because it gives me, um, what's that book that I love so much? Wow, I can't believe I've forgotten it. And I've got it over there. I can't see it. Oh, I forgot. There's a book that I love, love so much and this is the reason it's that book that it, i'll put it here i'll put it here it's that book that i loved so much and it's a horror and it made me want to pick up this one this is the hacienda and this is by isabel Canias. and it says her salvation from an opposite oh, sorry hacienda san isidero was meant to be a beatrice's haven Okay, so it's, it's, a, it's a place, Hacienda, right? It's a place. Uh, her salvation from an oppressive life with her uncle and his vicious wife. When Don Rodolfo Soloranz, Soloranzo proposed, Beatrice dreamed only of the security his estate in the countryside would provide. Ignoring the rumors surrounding his first wife's demise, this sounds like, um... Rebecca, it sounds like Rebecca, I forgot the, the author, but the, 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 the classic, the vintage classic, Rebecca, sounds like it. She will have, so ignoring the rumors surrounding his first wife's demise and his sinister allegiances, she will have her own home again, no matter the price. But the house 
has ideas of its own. Visions and voices claw at Beatrice, stealing her sleep, and the weight of invisible eyes follow her every move. Oh my God, can I read this now? <laughs> Seems like desperate for help, she turns to the young priest, Padre Andre, Andres. Handsome and sympathetic, he seems like Beatrice's only hope. The Mexican, that's the other book that's sitting over here. Mexican, Mexican, I forgot. <laughs> the Mexican, I'm so mad. But anyway, I'm very excited to read about this. Let's see what's going to happen in this hacienda. Very excited. And the cover again. Stunning, stunning, we love it. Oh, it's so beautiful. I actually picked that one up myself, okay? Actually, all the books here, I've picked up myself, I've bought myself, so. <laughs> one that I also bought myself from uh, the Franchuk Literary Festival is Lucky Girl, and this is by Irene Muchemin Diritu, and I sat and I had the pleasure of listening to her speak, and she was telling us a little bit about her story, her life story, but she did also tell us a little bit about this book, and it says, Longing for independence, a sheltered young Kenyan woman flees the expectations of her mother for a life in New York that challenges all her beliefs about race, love, and family. Love me a good literary read that looks at race, that looks at family relationships, family dynamics. Love it. Love it. A fierce and tender debut about the lives and loves we choose. What it meant to be an African immigrant in America at the turn of the millennium and how a young woman finds a place for herself in the world. Are you joking? Are you absolutely joking? I'm not. I know I'm excited to read that. Can tell you, yeah, I know much about that. You know nothing about that. I do. I know much about that. And then another one that I have to pick up purely solely because of the author and because he's amazing and he's fabulous. Ah, the way he dresses, his charisma, his demeanor, Kobe Ben Ben. This is No One Dies Yet by Kobe Ben Ben. Kobe Ben Ben is an Ghanaian born author. I don't think he lives there currently. Maybe he does. I don't know. I don't know. But I also had the pleasure of listening to him speak and I thought I have to, have to get his book. I have to get it. How do you begin a murder story starring a curious foreigner and an opportunistic Opportu and an opportunistic local without giving away the entire plot. Who died and why? You start with the obvious villain. Okay. 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 I'm, I'm just reading a little bit on the inside too. Let me read it to you, okay? 2019, the year of return. It has been exactly 400 years since the first slave ships left Ghana for America. Ghana has now opened its doors to black diasporans, encouraging them to return and get to know the land of their ancestors. Elton, Vincent, and Scott arrive from America to visit the preserved sites from the transatlantic slave route and to explore the country's underground queer scene. Love it! Algebataqua, legitapaqua, bro. Okay. <laughs> their, um, sorry, their activities are narrated by their two combative guides, Kobe, their way into Accra's privileged circles, and Nana, the voice of tradition and religious principle. Their, the pair's tense relationship sets the tone for what becomes a shocking and unsettling tale of murder. That is at times funny, at times erotic, yet always outspoken and iconoclastic. What? Joking. Absolutely have to be joking. And that's pretty much where I'm going to wrap up my video. I hope you guys enjoyed my selection of the books that I'm going to be reading in the next two months. And so I'm hoping that I'll be done with those and then have the other four to read for the next two months. I'm so excited. Let me know what you guys are reading. I would love to know what you're reading. Put it in the description box below. Are you a reader? Are you just here because you enjoy watching beautiful books and 
stuff and me talking if you are here for that let me know too uh but outside of that i'm gonna go i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a like subscribe join the jk family whether you're subscribing to the channel or you want to just even go one further and join the membership space i would appreciate that too thank you so much for choosing me over and over again that is it from me i am done i am gone let me know what you're reading and until the next bookish video. I will see you then. Until then, sayonara.